to show you how easy it is to create EFT payments in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm going to start out by creating a payment journal. Looking at that, we'll create a remittance advice, then we'll generate the EFT files and take a look at some of the setup. So the first thing I want to do is go to payment journals. I've started a payment journal here to two vendors. These are vendors that are set up to do EFT payments, and we'll take a look at that a little later. But the important thing here too is if I scroll all the way to the right, at least in my screen view, I want to make sure that the bank payment type is set to electronic payment. Out of the box, there's a few bank payment types. I want to make sure I select electronic payment. Once I have my payment batch together, the next thing I want to do is create the remittance advices and send those off to the vendors. Let's go to bank, export, and I'm going to email these. This is the email that was sent out to one of my vendors that was in the payment batch. You can see it's got a remittance advice attached to it. Let's take a look at that. Here it is. It shows the invoice that was paid with this payment to this particular vendor. Once I've sent the remittances out to the vendors, I can post this batch. Now I want to generate the EFT file so I can send it to my bank. I'll select the checking account that I used with this payment batch. You can see that I've got two payments here. These are the payments that were in the payment batch. The next thing to do then is to generate the EFT files. That file generated down here. You can see it on the left hand side. Let's open it up. And here's the EFT file I would send to my bank. This is generated based on a standard format that comes with the system. Let's take a look at some of the setup that's required in order to process EFT payments in Business Central. The first thing I want to do is set up my bank account. Here's the information I need about my bank so that I can generate the EFT format. Here's the EFT format I used right here. We just looked at the file. The next thing I need to do is for each vendor to whom I want to send an EFT payment, I need to set up their specific EFT information. Let's take a look at this vendor here. So I'll click on Navigate, go to the Vendor dropdown, and look at Bank Accounts. Here's the bank account that I set up for this particular vendor. I've got information on the transit number and the bank account number. Also, I've selected this down here to use electronic pay. What that means is when I make an EFT payment to this vendor, it's going to use this account to send that EFT payment to. And that's really the whole process. I created a payment journal. I made sure that I selected the correct payment type. I processed the remittance advices and then generated the EFT files.